As a genetic researcher, Alice Lazzarini made crucial contributions to the study of several neurologic diseases. During the mid-1990s, she co-discovered the first gene mutation linked to familial Parkinsonism, sparking a new approach to Parkinson's research. Alice has also shifted the narrative of what it is like to live with Parkinson's. Her story inspires us to face down our own obstacles, whatever they may be, with resolve and with resilience. You didn't work for Dr. Duvazan's department very, very long without being recruited into Parkinson's. It began when he came to me, I was sitting at my desk one day, and he said, Alice, I want you to prove Parkinson's is genetic. And I went, uh-oh, <laughs> I've got a lot on the line now. And it was like Mount Everest. I was going to, it was there and I had to climb it. I came from a family, actually, of artists. My dad was the uh, chairman of interior design at Parsons School of Design in Manhattan. Through him, I met the likes of Salvador Dali and, and Wallace Simpson and, and all sorts of interesting people. I speak to women who are age peers now, and they all say, well, they had the choice of being a nurse or secretary. And I thought, wow, I, I had many more opportunities open to me. I was encouraged to go to college and do whatever I wanted. And what you did in the 50s was get married and have children. So I started my family, and I thought, well, this isn't quite enough. I need to do something else. To me, that was science because I fell in love with it. I learned about the uh, master's level program in genetic counseling here at Rutgers, and that was a lifesaver to me. That was the end all and be all because it, it gave me my career virtually. I practiced genetic counseling and a little laboratory work early on when I was in the Department of Pediatrics at, at Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School at the time. And then I was recruited by the Department of Neurology because Dr. Duvazan, who was chair then, knew of my work in genetics and wanted to bring me on board because that was his specialty and he wanted everybody to work on Parkinson's disease. And I was able to travel to Contursi, Italy to uh, get samples as part of that uh, program and we were able to identify the gene in that particular family. It, it virtually, I think, helped turn the tide of thinking to accepting a genetic component. Now, I had been working on Parkinson's disease now for a, a good number of years, perhaps almost 10, and I was out walking in the morning and the sun behind me cast my shadow in front and my one arm was not moving. I had, was familiar enough with Parkinson's disease and I knew in my heart of hearts at that moment that that's in fact what, what was happening to me. That was the beginning of my transition, if you will, from researcher to patient and trying to identify, you know, wh which am I? What I finally came to is that I'm both. The researcher that I always was, and I'm the patient that I now always will be. And I remember standing on top of the mountain in Contursi, holding samples that I knew were gonna change the very face of Parkinson's disease research. People ask me, they say, do you think it will uh, be helpful to you personally? And honestly, my reaction is it may, it may not, but I was there and I was part of it. And that's, the thrill of that is what uh, science is all about. <laughs>